I have been asked again to do another uh, tutorial on how to take images from Creative Fabrica and put them into Word, a Word document for printing. And so I'm going to bring some images into a Word document and show you a few tricks that you can use in Word to edit some Creative Fabrica images. So I just went into my Creative Fabrica. I have the all access. I will put a link below for this, but I downloaded a few. I downloaded this one. I downloaded these bunnies here and I downloaded some watercolor clouds and I downloaded this um, baby bodysuit SVGs. So now I'm going to go into a Word document here and I have um, made it a little smaller so that you can see and I'm just going to go here to layouts and show you what I've done. I'm just going to keep this at an eight and a half by 11. I did switch it to landscape so it's easier for you to see. And I have some pre-selected margins. So I've got those set to zero. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to insert and picture from this device. And I'm going to go to my downloads here and I'll bring this Happy Easter in first. We'll work with this one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this icon here is the layout option. You're going to want to do wrap and through on this. And you can also find it here, wrap and through. So then you can move this around on the page. So let's make this a little bigger here. And um, let's work on a couple tricks with this. There's a few things that you can do um, from Word to edit your image. So you can go under color options and you can see all kinds of different colors that you can use here. Let's find something here. Um, let's go with, let's go with this blue or maybe even a purple. Let's go with this purple here. And then you can go into artistic effects and you can change it a little bit this way. You can see these slight changes happening here when you when you scroll over the artistic effects here. So there's a few things you can do with that. You can change your transparency here, make it lighter, darker. Um, here's one of my favorites. You can go in, here are some um, things that you can choose. Here is, whoops, that's not the one I wanted here. Um, there's a shadow effect that you can add. Did you see that shadow? Come on, I'll go off and then do it again here. You can put a shadow on there. Um, uh, let's go and find another image here. And you can see here when you're under picture format, you can see the size of your image. You can see it's 7.22 by 7.22. Now that's not counting this white space on the top and bottom. That's the whole image in general. So now we can make this a little bigger here. And now let's go and find another thing here. Let's find, um, let's go into those clouds here purple clouds, purple and pink clouds. And I'll just pull one of these in. I don't know what color it is. And then again, I want to do the wrap and through and I can bring this in and you can distort your image by pulling it this way and that way. And you can add another cloud in here, but now I don't want that in front of my bunnies. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to send it backwards and you can keep going. You can insert whatever. I just picked, you know, the clouds just because it was something that we could um, make look good on this design. We're not going to leave that. But anyway, so now you know how you can do a few things like that. Um, let's get rid of these two images. And we will bring another picture in here. Let's see. Go into my downloads here. And... Let's go with um, some of these funny baby bundle um, PNG. I'll make these bigger so that we can see them. Um, let's see. Let's, you bet giraffe I'm cute. Let's put that one in and we'll see what we can do here. And again, you're going to want to do the wrap and through so you can move it around on the page. And I'm going to go up here to color. Whoops. Go back to get my picture here. Go back to, and all I did was clicked on this image and you can see the picture format came back up and that's the area you want to be in. So then we can go to color here and you can pick a color for this. Let's go with this orange one here. And then again, I can add a, do a little bit of a, um, give it a little bit of a shadow there. 
Um, now let's go and insert a cloud in the back of this as well. Uh, let's see, go to my downloads here again. Yeah, let's see, where are my, here, there. All right, get some color in here. See what, see what these look like. Oh, there we go, that's better. So now I can see a little bit of the color here, but you can also, we'll bring this in. And again, it's way down here because it's under the image. So we want to go to the wrap and through icon. So that brings it in here. So let's get this stretched out here. Now let's go back up to color and we can change the color of our cloud here, make it match a little better. And again, send it to the back. So now if I was going to print this for sublimation or for you can make cards out of this, you can do whatever you want. But um, so let's say I'm going to use this for a sublimation image. I'd go to file and print and I would pick the printer that I'm using. If you're just going to print it as a design for something that you're using, just use a regular inkjet printer. But for this one, I'm pretending like I'm doing this for sublimation. So we're going to connect to my Epson EcoTank 2840, which is a uh, printer that I converted over to sublimation printing by adding sublimation ink. I'll have a link below for how I did that as well. So I want to go to premium presentation paper mat and high quality here. And under more options, I'm going to turn bi-directional or high speed off. And I want to mirror my image for sublimation. And under image options, I like to emphasize more and emphasize thin lines. Whoops, I missed that. Emphasize more, emphasize thin lines. OK, OK. And then it would be ready to print. But we're not going to print this right now. We're just playing here. So now I will go and I will delete these two. So we'll do one more here. I'll go to insert and picture from this device. And I will bring in, I've got in here, I had downloaded some uh, kids monogrammed Easter items. So here I'm going to go to wrap and through again so that I can move this on the page. And of course, you can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. In fact, I might even change my layout to portrait for this one because make this a little smaller so we got the full view. Make this bigger so that I can you can see everything going on here. So too big, too big, too big. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit and get this right on my image here. Make this a little smaller so that you can see. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to go to insert. Here is, again, the picture format. So you can see what it came in at for the size over here. And so I am going to add now. I want to add some text to this. So I'm just going to insert. And then I went over to Word Art here. And I'm going to pick this pink and white one. And of course, I'm going to do the wrap and through again here. And I'm going to pick up that text box and I'm going to bring it right down in here. Now I'm just going to put a name on here. So I am just going to write Savannah. And I'm going to stretch this out. Oops, I guess I don't need to stretch that out. I forgot. So let's do this here. Move this over and I am going to change my font. So you just highlight this and you can go into home here and you can find your fonts. And I have a bunch of fonts that I have uploaded. I've installed on my laptop here from Creative Fabrica. I'll have a link below for installing fonts on your computer as well. So I'm just going to look through here and I'm going to find one. Um, that I think will look cute on here. Let's see. Hmm. Jiller, no, not that one. Uh, I'm going to find one. I've uploaded, or I have put so many great fonts on my computer, and I've also uploaded them into Canva as well. I'll have a link below for that too. Um, but let's see. That's kind of cute for a little girl. So I'll stretch this. Oops, I keep saying stretch this out. But that's not what I'm going to do. But now I'm going to put that back in the center. And now if you go up here, you can change your font size. So let's make it 48. 
that's not quite big enough. Let's go with 72, or you can just scroll over that and change it to whatever you want. So um, you can make it as big or as small as you want. So let's bring this up more into the center here. See if I can find a center line, nope. But we'll just get it right in the center there. And then you can go up here and you can fill it in with a different color if you want. So there are quite a few options that you have for designing in Word. And again, I would print this the same way um, and you could still make this bigger too. It's not quite big, as big as I would like to see it. So you could put 100 in here. You can do whatever you want. Of course, you got to stretch this out and recenter it again. So you're going to want to get that right in the center. And so I hope this helped. And if you liked my video, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, see links below, and leave me a comment.